the wild. The weaver. And the worm. Three primal forces from which the world, Gaia, springs. The wild is creation, formless and abundant. The weaver shapes, making order out of chaos. The worm, whose purpose was to destroy the old, to make room for the new, went mad. Now, a force of corruption, feeding on greed, malice, and hate. It ravages Gaia. Through its unwitting accomplices, mankind, the balance between those three forces is long gone now. Insidiously, the worm gains more and more ground every day, vitalized by the damage humans have brought to the Earth. We, the werewolves, remain. Born of man, beast, and spirit, we are the vindication of Gaia and the Wild. The way to get Indran out of the region is to attack their bottom line. We have a plan to convince them there's no profit to be had here. Ludmilla, if you please. I've recently gained access to the system that controls all the on-site oil pumps. That's our target. We tamper with the pumps and send dummy data to the system to make them think their oil field has run dry. Will that really be enough? According to the internal files I got my hands on, they treat unprofitable sites like gangrenous limbs. They'll give this one the chop right away. So, how do we go about this, Rodko? Who does what? Ludmilla knows the location, so she will take point. She'll infiltrate the site and connect Ava to their network, giving her access to their system. Once I'm hooked up, I'll only need a few minutes. But if something goes wrong, my wife ends up on her own in enemy territory. I don't like it. I'm going to be fine, Call. We've been preparing this for weeks. We've calculated the risks. And if there's any sign of trouble, you and I go in and retrieve her. But I'd rather we stay covert. Ludmilla will have the easiest time on her own. I'm heading out. I want to be done before daybreak. Take care of Adana while I'm away. I think she's going a little crazy all cooped up in here. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. You just focus on your mission. Call. I've got this. I love you. See you soon. Not looking forward to packing all this up tomorrow morning. I don't like thinking that Ludmilla's on her own, Rodko. I understand. She's my sister, remember? And she's Adana's mother. I should be out there with her. I gave it a lot of thought. Her chances of success are better if she's alone. It's as simple as that. If things don't go as planned, you can tear through as much Endrin scum as you like to get her out. But for now, we stay put. Go. Rest while we wait. Got everything squared away? Not a lot to square away. All I'm doing is pressing a button once Ludmilla gets me hooked up. Still got a ways to go before I can do much more than that. 
If I tried to breach their network, they'd be on us in a second. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're ten times better at hacking than me or Rotko with your eyes closed. Just give it time. I know, I know, but... Thanks. A little pep talk never hurts. But how are you doing? Talk to your daughter yet? No, not yet. I'm just heading her way. Hey, how you doing? I'm bored out of my mind. There's nothing to do here, and it's wet and miserable. We're not on vacation, Adie. We're here for Gaia, for the Cairn. And you're here to learn how we do things. I know, but couldn't I have learned how we do things back at Tarker's Mill? It's not like you've got me helping out with the mission or anything. Try connecting with the spirits. Feel their presence around you. The pain hindrance causing them. That connection makes you a Garu. I'm trying. Believe me. But I just can't. Don't worry. It's always harder before your first change. And if the change never comes, if you're human, like your mother, that's fine. She may not feel the spirits, but she's the finest infiltrator we have. Why didn't you go with Mom anyway? She's all alone out there. If something happens to her... I wish I could've. But Rodko wants us to keep a low profile. And there's no one better at that than your mom. <laughs> Rodko's a dumbass. Hey, that's your uncle you're talking about. And the leader of our pack. You know it's his job to make those decisions. Everything will be alright, don't worry. Try to focus on the spirits. We'll be leaving this place soon. Shit. Kahal, wake up! I'm gonna need you. A helicopter just touched down on the site's landing pad. Apparently it's some Endron exec. Their presence has shaken things up. Shaken things up how? Guard patrols have been changed, and some areas have been locked down, including the one Ludmilla's is in. They still haven't discovered her, though. So what's the plan now? The mission's sunk. We go in there, get her out, and wait for things to quiet down. But to get her off site, the locked off areas need to be manually unlocked, and Ludmilla's stuck on the wrong side. Shit. Fortunately, she has already secured a terminal. She'll guide you to her location over the radio. Go now. Bring her back. There's no time to waste. My sister needs you. Ludmilla, I'm on my way. Remember, stay out of sight. I'll open any door I have access to through their network. I've opened all the external ducts. I'm locked in the turbine room in the center of the site. You'll have to get here without being seen. The area you're passing through should be deserted right now, though. The door's locked. Ava? There's gotta be a terminal close by. Find it. Oh, and uh, deactivate any cameras you see while you're at it. Guards. But Mello, we've got a lot of company. The arrival of the Endron exec has changed their setup. Tell me where you are. I'm looking at the southern part of the outer fence. And a shit ton of guards. There's no way I'll be able to make a move without being seen. Southern part of the outer fence. Got it. There. That should distract us for a few minutes. But 
but if a guard does see you... He won't live long enough to raise the alarm. They sold their souls to Endron. They don't get any mercy. Hell of a time for a malfunction. I'll go check it out. Care. Just want it fixed and fast. Some big shot just arrived on site. The folks upstairs want everything to be perfect. I'm in the refinery. Perfect. I'm not far now. Nearly at the passageway leading into it. Shit! Something's following me. What is it? I think it's a black spiral dancer. He's... But Mila, just hold on. Fuck! Rodko. I heard. The no more sneaking around. The way you fight. Now go! I'll meet you with Rafi. I'm done fucking around.
Camilla. Call. Tell Adi. No! Please, no! to me. Just reported back to base. Not that there's anything to report. No kidding. Though I guess we've got a special guest coming tonight. Yeah, an engine rep, no less. She should be here soon. You know they're hiring, right? Think you'd ever make the move to Andron? Hey! What the? Five years ago, I abandoned the woods of Tarker's Mill. I abandoned my cairn. Endrin killed my wife. I gave in to rage. The worm touched my soul. I had to leave my daughter. It was the hardest decision I ever made. that their new biofuel will be hitting the market soon. This revolutionary new 
formula will be unveiled alongside the opening of their new headquarters in... This exile was my only choice. I had become a danger to my pack. I often wonder what's become of them. Of Rodko. Of Ava. Of Adi. This is the closest I've been to Tarker's Mill in five years. How much time do we have before they notice the guards on the outside have gone quiet? They report in by radio every hour. That's our deadline for getting our hands on the explosives and getting out of here. Let's go through the plan again, just to make sure everything's clear. You've got to swap the delivery label on the crate of explosives intended for Ender. You do that, and they'll load us up with smiles on their faces. All you've got to do is open the gate to their delivery bay for me. I'll create a diversion while you're exchanging the labels. Got it. We'll have to play it tight, though. One hiccup and the plan falls through. We'll have you sneak around back by their storage facility. Security should be pretty thin there, especially if we go through the ventilation docks. What do your clients intend to do with them anyway? The weather stormers? They're planning on blowing up a big Magadon pharmaceutical plant. Good fucking ruins. I know Magadon's methods. They're the scum of the earth. And guess what? These explosives were originally headed to Endrin, another megacorp of assholes. Stealing from them is just icing on the cake. All right. I'm off. Hey, before you go, are you sure you're up for this, man? You seem kind of stressed out back in the truck. I'm fine. Come on, we've got a job to do. Right. If you need me, I'm just a chirp away. Good luck, brother. Side. Good. Try to keep a low profile, would you? Endrin reached out to me, you know. They're hiring and the pay's pretty good. I'm sure it is. They're going toe to toe with a group of activists right now. Lamb to mankind. If I were you, I'd stay here. Keep your head down.
I made it to the delivery bay. Good. See that command post next to the gate? You should be able to open things up for me from there. I made it to the delivery bay. Good. See that command post next to the gate? You should be able to open things up for me from there. Dusk, 
You're up. On it. Once I've got their attention, you go find what we came for and slap on this fancy new delivery label. Got it? Hey, you in the truck. What are you doing here? I'm just here for a pickup, man. Pickup? What are you talking about? There's no pickup on the schedule. Well, check it again. I, I gotta be on there. You really think I drive like this? According to the intel we received, the crates of explosives should be stored around here. All right, Dusk. The delivery label's been switched. Then it's time for us to get the hell out of Dodge. Wait. I smell something. Give me a minute to check it out. I knew I smelled it. Silver. Whoever ordered this intends to kill Garu. Dusk. They're shipping out silver bullets. You know what that means. Change of plans? Change of plans. I need to find out who's buying these bullets and why. Buy me some more time. Upstairs. She's from Andrew, here for the special order. The silver bullets? Who even uses that shit? Picking up holding guns while she's at it? You know what they say, the client is king. Especially when the client's name is Endrin. Shipment's loaded. How are things on your end? Shouldn't be much longer. waiting. Or paying, clearly. You're not getting anything until Endrin is paid up. You can tell that to your President Watkins in person. I don't think you understand what's at stake here. <laughs> oh, I understand that you've just been attacked and you're looking to hit back. I also understand that you need our ammunition to do that. And we've got that ammunition right downstairs, ready and waiting to go as soon as you've paid us. Sorry, Major. The business is business. Well, fuck you two. Then we'll attack Tarker's Mill without your help. And rest assured, Mr. Watkins will hear about this. Tarker's Mill. Hey! You and I need to talk. Now, die! <laughs> Bollocks! Security! Alert! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Baker's Mill, my old cairn, Adana. I have to go back. Dusk. What the fuck are you doing, Go? I just had to pop a couple guards who wanted to put a bullet in my head. Get the fuck back here already. Sorry, but I didn't have a choice. Keep the engine running. We're out of here as soon as I get back. Alarm went off in the boss's office, but I'm not getting any response from that sector. Take your positions, people. Maximum alert until the situation's clear. No reply from the delivery bay either. Shit, what's going on? Got company here! Oof.
are we headed? Tarker's Mill. We're too late. Engine is already here. What do we do? Stop the truck. What's even down there? My home. Dusk, stay out of this. Wait! Call! Rodko! Rodko, they've cleared our northern line. They have an exo. We'll take care of the wounded later. We have to stop them. Let's go! Move! <laughs> Tell me, where's Adana? Don't worry, Cahal. Your daughter didn't fight this battle. How are your wounds? Riddled with silver. They'll take days to heal. But things would have been far worse if you hadn't stepped in. I just did what I had to do. Nothing more. I honestly never thought I'd see your face again. Why'd you come back, Cahal? I heard that the Cairn was going to be attacked. I was afraid for you. For Adana. And how did you hear that? I overheard Endrin talking about it on my last job. I may have left Tarker's mill, but I never turned my back on it. I couldn't just abandon you. You found it easy enough five years ago. Your Cairn and your daughter have always needed you. I tried to tell you that. Where is she, Rodgo? With Ava? Working undercover at the biggest entrance site in the Pacific Northwest. Best option available to us after the failure of our last mission. Your last mission? What do you mean? You remember the old abandoned mine not far from here? Endron bought it and turned it into a training center for their new recruits. I launched an attack to wipe them out, but Tank Girl stopped us. The woman you saw in the exo during the attack, she drove us back. Tank girl, you call her. I encountered her during my last mission. She was trying to buy silver bullets from an arms dealer. That's where I learned she was planning an attack on the Cairn. Major Grainer. That's the name her men give her. But to us, she's Tank Girl. And she leads Endron's troops with about as much grace. Their attack on the Cairn was their first wave of revenge for our attack on the training center. We managed to repel them this time, but it's only a temporary victory. They might return at any moment, and Endrin just keeps recruiting soldiers. Then we've got to go back to the mine and destroy their training center. It's the only way to buy the Cairn any sort of safety, no matter how brief. Go back? No. Not until I'm well again. Then we can strike.
Tell me about Adana. How have you trained her? Just as I promised you. I trained her to be a warrior. I taught her everything she needed to fight. To defend herself. So that we wouldn't see a repeat of what happened to Ludmilla. Has she gone through her first change yet? Not yet. And despite all my training, she never showed much inclination toward the wild side of things. She preferred to spend her time with Ava, studying humans, technology, and infiltration. To walk in Ludmilla's footsteps. That's right. And though it's not how I wanted to do things, it certainly paid off. She has proved to be an exceptional spy. Rest assured, though, Adana is just as much Garu as you or me. Her first change will come in time, no matter what path she chooses to take. Tell me about Ava. How's she doing? When you went into exile, she succeeded you as my lieutenant. She was ready and willing, but it was hardly a smooth transition. I was forced to make some concessions. I can imagine. There are a lot of humans in the cairn. A lot more than when I was here. Ava's lamb to mankind. I'd heard about her group of activists. They're actually getting a lot of attention at the moment. Not sure if that's the best thing for the pack. That's what I thought too. At first. At first? So you've changed your mind about humans. That's... A lot of things have changed in the past five years, myself included. For the longest time, I never trusted humans. But then I saw how they fought. How they stood strong for what they believed in. I saw their potential. Even I had to admit that Ava was right. The humans have been stalwart allies in our fight for Gaia. Now you've seen firsthand what Indran is doing to us. Our ranks grow thinner every year. Ava's humans aren't afraid to put their lives on the line for the planet. What more could I ask for? Until I'm healed, there's no way we can make a move on the training center. I'll take care of that goddamn training center myself. You know I can handle it on my own. No. You're no longer a part of this pack. It's my responsibility. And how long will it take for you to get better? Days? Weeks? If they return, the cairn will fall. Huh. I'll think about it. Go pay your respects to your Fen and come back to me. Then we'll talk about the mine. Endrin doesn't show anyone yours. We don't either. It has been many a year since I last felt your presence, warrior of Gaia. It's been nearly as long since anyone called me that. Your cairn needs you. And the Wild has need of your protection. The Eater of Souls is fighting with all his might to take control of it. And... he is winning. The corruption takes many forms, but the effects are always the same. You must help us fight back. Tarker's mill looks nothing like it did when I left. Yet you still protected the forest with everything you had. Your strength, 
Your aura. What happened to them? As Gaia weakens, so too do I. The Englings, the Jaglings, the Gafflings, they all suffer in kind. The Eater of Souls tries to corrupt them. But they're minor spirits. They are every bit as important as you or I. But in my weakness, I must look on. Powerless to act as they disappear. Which is why we need your help. You must help me to combat the worm, to protect the wild. I came back to find my daughter. Have you seen her? Ah, Adana. A dear friend, and always respectful of nature. You fear for her safety then? She too is fighting for Gaia, in her own way. But do not worry. You both walk the same path. You will find each other in time. To fight your battles, you will need power. Power I can provide by helping you develop your warrior gifts. Thank you, Ifen. You may find lost spirits during your travels. Return them to me, and I will be able to strengthen your natural abilities. One last request before you depart. Many of your kin fell in combat. I would ask you to bury them. You will find their bodies both inside and around the cairn. Your penumbra vision will show you the way. Soothe their souls and send them to me, so that they may travel to the wild without being captured by the worm. I will if I can. But my priority is Endrin's training center. Weaken the forces of the worm there, but never forget your brothers and sisters. Gaia needs you. Rodgo's changed his mind. I went to see Fen. He's gotten so weak. Please, Rodgo, let me help you. Let me deal with this training center. Why is it that you care now, Kahal? We were so easy to ignore when we went right in front of you. What? You want to be part of the pack again? I want to help the pack. I want to protect Adana. But you don't intend to rejoin us. I've already given into rage and killed one of our kin, Rodgo. I can't take the risk of doing it again. You already know I disagree. Nonetheless, we are united by those we mourn. So I'll accept your help. Tell me about Ava. How's she doing? When you went into exile, 
She succeeded you as my lieutenant. She was ready and willing, but it was hardly a smooth transition. I was forced to make some concessions. I can imagine. There are a lot of humans in the cairn. A lot more than when I was here. Ava's Lambda Mankind. I'd heard about her group of activists. They're actually getting a lot of attention at the moment. Not sure if that's the best thing for the pack. That's what I thought too, at first. How so? For the longest time, I never trusted humans. But then I saw how they fought. How they stood strong for what they believed in. I saw their potential. Even I had to admit that Ava was right. The humans have been stalwart allies in our fight for Gaia. And now you've seen firsthand what Indran is doing to us. Our ranks grow thinner every year. Ava's humans aren't afraid to put their lives on the line for their planet. What more could I ask for? Tell me about Adana. Have you trained her? Just as I promised you. I made her into a warrior. I taught her everything she needed to fight, to defend herself, so that we wouldn't see a repeat of the tragedy that befell Ludmilla. Has she gone through her first change yet? Not yet. And despite all my training, she never showed much inclination toward the wild side of things. She preferred to spend her time with Ava, studying humans, technology, and infiltration. To walk in Ludmilla's footsteps. That's right. And though it's not my way of doing things, it's certainly paid off. She has proved to be an exceptional spy. Rest assured, though, Adana is just as much Garo as you or me. Her first change will come in time no matter what path she chooses to take. So what can you tell me about this so-called training center? Ava managed to get a hold of the mine blueprints to help us prepare for our previous attack. The site's weak point is its power supply. They apparently haven't had the time to give it a proper upgrade. The whole thing is powered by one big propane tank, just like it was when it was a mine. I see. So if I blow up the tank, the whole mine will cave in, taking the training center with it. I am indeed. Your friend gave me the explosives that you stole as soon as he arrived. Dusk is here? Yeah. He arrived just after the attack. Don't worry. I asked the humans to look after him. We've still got a problem, though. You don't know the layout of the site, and I'm too injured to go with you. Huh. I don't like touching the stuff. But I suppose I'll use Ava's radio equipment to guide you. That should do the trick. Perfect. So we'll stay in radio contact. Take the explosives and go. Good luck, Kahal. Dusk, my friend. I owe you that. Those assholes show themselves, just fire. Do not. They're currently recruiting at their training center. Then, perhaps I need to enlist. Fine is always less than the cost of compliance. <laughs> Bingo. Won't see that one in their ass. You see the kit they're supplying people with? 
must be worth a fortune. Tell me about it. I mean, pump action rifles with holographic. You here to enlist? Even the army doesn't have that shit. Yeah, or you've been having some trouble lately. You hear correctly. We were attacked a few days ago. We pushed him back, but let's just say we're a little understaffed right now. What's in this training program of yours anyway? That's classified. But those who survive their training become real killing machines. With real thick wallets, too. What do you say? You interested? Absolutely. That's the spirit. Did you register on our website? Nah, I prefer to do things in person. Can't say I blame you. What's your name? Kahal Fillin. Kahal Fillin. Hell of a name. There you go. You're on the list. All right, then. Go report to the instructor for testing. He's in the warehouse. Oh, and one last thing. Looking at you, it's pretty obvious you've done some time. Try not to mention that. The instructor hates ex-cons. This way. Control, I've got a candidate for you. Welcome. If you're looking to sign up, you have to talk to the instructor. Head over to that building in the courtyard. Caught one of Endron's new ads on TV last night. They've even got a brand new slogan. Greener action serving the biosphere. Damn. There's nothing they won't bring. I'm here to be recruited. You? <laughs> How'd you make it through the physical without breaking a hip? <sighs> All right, Gramps. Let me just find you on the list here. I signed up at the entrance. Kahal Fillin. Ah, right. Here you are. Now let's get down to business. You ready for the interview? I'm ready. Let's start with a technical question, then. Our assault troops are equipped with a new type of pump-action rifle. What kind of sight is it equipped with? A laser sight. Wrong. They have a holographic sight. But I understand why you'd get that wrong, Grandpa. Back in your day, they probably still had bayonets. Let's talk engine now. The company has an internal motto for those in the know. Can you tell me what it is? Greener action serving the biosphere. Look around, you dumbass. Do you think Endrin gives a shit about going green? That's just the swill we serve the masses. Okay, enough of this paper-pushing bullshit. I know a combat vet when I see one. Welcome to Endrin's training program. Head over to the waiting room. Someone will come get you new recruits in a few minutes. Understood.
Weapons run! <sighs> I'm in the mine. The propane tank's at the center of the site. There should be a service door that leads there. Training Center. You are about to undergo a training. You are hardly skilled. Training is over. We outfitted with the best equipment the money can buy. Before you begin, you'll be given a checkup by our medical staff. During this comprehensive checkup, you'll be treated with a serum reserved for the Endron Elite. The serum will heighten your reflexes, increase your pain tolerance, and make you stronger than ever. You'll need it for the training to come. For now, I'll ask you to wait here. An officer will call you in when they're ready. Take the time to watch one of our training sessions. See the that thing. I don't like the looks of it. Should have picked another yeah. job. Intruder! Look at that son of a gun's weapons. Looks like we're finally getting... I see the tank. You're going to have 
to cut through the medical sector to get there. They're injecting something into their recruits. We're aware. Entrance soldiers reek of the worm. We've been trying for weeks to figure out just what's in that serum of theirs. How long will it be before our latest batch of recruits is trained? Two months for most of them. Less for the ones who react well to the serum. Excellent. I'll communicate that to Major Grainer when she returns. <laughs> So the injections have something to do with the worm. We think so, but we can't prove it yet. That's one of the things Ava and Adana are investigating. There's silver here. Lots of it. The smell's overwhelming. You must be in their armory. The propane tank's downstairs from you. I made it to the propane tank, but there's a soldier guarding it. He's more monster than man, though. Just muscles stacked on muscles. One of their elite soldiers. One way or another, you're gonna have to deal with him.
Security's detected an intruder, but he's not going anywhere now that we've got the site locked down. Stay on your guard. Put a bullet in him. The explosives are in place. Time for you to get out of there. I'll make good use of that. Intruder's still in the center. Find him. This is about those big bastards.
Search the warehouse. If you find the intruder, don't try to play hero. Give the alert immediately. Security level, be on the look at animal rumination to kill. on the program. The flamethrower exos have just cleared testing. We've just got the green light for their deployment. Good. Keep it up. Here I 
systems down.
just arrived back at the cairn and brought your daughter with her. Hedana. Nobody here, but her computer's on. Kahal! You know I hate it when people mess with my stuff. That's an impressive amount of equipment. It's the bare minimum for leading a handful of activists against a megacorp like Indran. Haven't changed much, have you? Aside from a couple of new lines on your face. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. You know... I always knew you'd come back. It was just a matter of when. This isn't quite the reunion I had in mind. But it's a happy one. I heard about your handiwork at the mine. Adana. Kahal? You must have a lot to talk about. I'll go check on the solar panels. Catch you later. Adana, I... How are you doing? You've grown. It's not worth trying to rebuild that bridge now, Kahal. Not after abandoning me for five years. I'm sorry, Adama. Where do you think an apology is going to get you? You know, it was hard enough to get over Mom's death, but dealing with the fact that you chose to leave me behind when I needed you most? That left a scar. You were so focused on doing what you thought was right that you never thought about what it might do to me. I don't blame you if you hold it against me. But I still stand by my choice. I spent those five years finding my way back to the man I was. Even if you were with me, I... wouldn't have been me. And you'd have been just as alone. I was in no state to look after you. I couldn't have been the father you needed. I wasn't. Stop, Kahal. I'm really not in the mood to hear you rewrite our family history. Endrin just carved a bloody wound into my cairn. They killed my friends. Right now, all I care about is tearing Endrin apart. Rodko told me you and Ava were undercover at Endrin during the attack. That's right. I managed to infiltrate the fracking site. They just upped my security clearance, too. I've got access to their protected data. This is the best chance we've ever had at taking Endrin down. We sink them from the inside. Sink Endrin from the inside. And how do you plan on doing that? A while back, Ava, Rodko, and I discovered that Endrin's injecting its new recruits with a special serum that makes them more... everything. Yeah, I saw it myself when I was in their training center. The injection transforms people. Makes them stink of the worm. There's more to it than that. When I first joined Endrin's ranks, I was trying to figure out what was going on with their biofuel project. But, while I was analyzing the formula for the biofuel, I noticed an encrypted molecule within it. No employees have access to its composition. That same molecule 
is in the substance they're injecting their troops with, as well as another project, the Earthblood Protocol. The Earthblood Protocol. Any idea what that's about? Not yet. But that can wait until after we figure out what this mystery molecule actually is. Once we figure out what that mystery molecule really is, we'll know what they're pumping their soldiers with, and their plans for this biofuel. Then we'll leak that info to everyone who'll listen, we'll lock the biofuel's launch, and hopefully put the final nail in Endrum's coffin. Thing is, right now the encryption they're using on their data is impossible to break. That's why we came back. We wanted to tell Rodko how we were stuck and figure out what to do from here. How can I help? If you want to help, go meet with Ava. She and Rodko will be figuring out our next steps. All right, I'll go check in with her and then have a talk with Rodko. Any idea where I'll find her? By our solar panels. If you've got any other questions, you'll find me with the rest of the pack. They need me.